What's up guys, welcome back to RuneScape, welcome back to the final episode of my series, Roads to the uh, Prefidnas, I'm, I'm not, I, I still don't know how to pronounce that, but maybe I will learn today. Welcome to the uh, final episode in this uh, Reaching the Largest Elf City series. Today we will take care of uh, plagues and quests, and uh, to say I'm excited is an understatement. Let's see, plagues and right here. Look at all these requirements already done. Talk to Aryan Win in Letia. Good. Required items. Combat equipment. I think that's checked. I got a spear and some uh, some armor. Full set of mourner gear. Yes, I do have. Rune bar. Check. Plant cu plant cure. There you go. Check. Ten magic logs. Right here. Two hundred spirit shards. Right here. Summoning pouch. One charm of each color. Gold, green, crimson and blue. I don't have a green one. And a super defense potion. Which is right there. The quest guide didn't didn't mention anything of a uh, green charm. My bad, the, the quest guide actually mentioned the green charm. I was just bad at reading it. So let's go to Letia. Let's check what... Um... Oh, I got a new option. Temple of Light in there. Good. This wasn't there before. Let's see what Arian Win has to say. Hello there. Lord Fafi, well met. I have news. The dwarves have cleared the rock slide in the corridor of light. Good for them. Now we can sneak inside and see what Lord Iorth has done to my beloved city. I was trying to repronounce that, but maybe it's for the best not to. Well, let's go. Accept quest. The uh, Prifdinas Undercity will be swarming with Ironworth soldiers. We'll need to disguise ourselves as Death Guards or Mourners, as you call them in Arduni. That's very good, I got a set of armor for me right here. I still have the Mourn disguise you fetched me from before we visited the uh, Temple of Light, so we just need a set for you. That's very good, we already have the set there. I got it. I can tell- wait, are you ready? No, I guess I have to remove my uh, my spear and my ring. Now I'm ready. I'm really lacking on uh, inventory space right now. Yes, I'm ready now. Oh, this is the corridor, I remember it. It's definitely clear. Well, hello, no name dwarf. While I was cleaning the rubble, the dwarf says, I found a dead elf with a document on him. Would you like it? Yes, please? Haven't I already read the report? Yes, we've already read the report in... Um, in the previous video of the series. I, uh, I would like to destroy it now. That's... Okay, he, he's just gonna give me the report. Okay, let's move on. Let's go through the door, there you go, Undercity, new song unlocked. Oh, now I'm gonna make sure I have no other equipment but the Mourner gear, I believe. And let's go in. Oh, what? You, what are you doing in the storeroom? Who's talking to me? Can't see anyone. Maybe, maybe that guy, or uh, she, right there, at the desk. So... Oh, honestly, I think every batch of new recruits the mayor sends me uh, is stupider than the last. I'm up to my year points in paperwork and I do not have time to babysit you. Don't wander off. So, don't just stand there gopping. What were you doing in the storeroom? Um, we have to go with, we thought we saw a mouse. Of course there are going to be mice. Why does that justify leaving your post without permission? We have to go with... It might get into the food stores. If you thought it would be a problem, why didn't you tell me? We knew you were busy, <laughs> we knew you were busy, so we dealt with it. That's the very first sensible thing you've said. I'll let you off this time, but don't you go wandering into the storeroom again. Maybe sometime watching that tedious archaeologist will teach you your lesson. You too can relieve the guards in the next room. Once you've relieved uh, relieve the guards, tell Yestin Edern to hurry. 
Lord Ironworth's plan is waiting for him. Okay. So let's go have a chat with uh, Yestin over here. Let's say beautiful door. Wonder if we'll uh, go past it. Grand library door sounds promising. So, hey, we're guarding the, uh, the archaeologist. Talk to us, not him. Oh. Is this not what I'm supposed to do? Maybe talk to one of these? <laughs> You're here to relieve us, they say, about time. This intellectual was boring us to death. Poor Yestin. Yestin says, Mourn you guards, if you have to be here, please keep quiet. I can't concentrate with guards peering over my shoulder. What exactly are you doing? Once you told anything, I thought death guards at least knew the basics. Through that door is the grand library, the city of Prifdinas, the real one, not the temporary camp of those stairs, is stored in the grand library in the form of a giant crystal seed. Lord Ironworth asked me to find a way to regrow the city without the other seven leaders. He says he'll provide a source of magical power and he wants me to prepare the crystal to receive that power. What's this power source? I gather it's something to do with what the uh, Death Guard are doing in the human city of Arduni. I've heard the phrase Dark Lord in connection with it, but I don't know what that means. What about the elves in the city when it was reverted? They are still there, encoded in the crystal. When the city is regrown, they'll wake up as if nothing has happened. I don't know what Lord Ironworth plans to do about the uh, non Ironworth elves. I imagine they'll be given a chance to join the Ironworth clan. Well, the captain wants you to hurry. I'd be able to work faster if I knew what Lord Ironworth's plan was. How can I work if I don't know how many, how my work will fit into the overall plan? I'm sorry, I know it's not your fault, you probably know less than I do. Look, if you want to speed things up a little, could one of you take my latest report to the mayor of Privdinas? I think that's the first time I came close to pronouncing that, uh, that word right. Anyway, you should do that. I'll stay here and watch Yestin Edern. While you're up there, maybe you can find some information about Lord Ironworth's plan, Erwin says. Oh, luckily, I only have a single slot, slot in my inventory ready uh, to receive things. The stairs in this room lead to Prifdinas. Oh my god, don't tell me. Wait, is this the fake camp city, not the real one? Judging from the previous chat. Well, let's go up. Oh, yeah, this is, this is the camp. This is not the uh, real Prifdinas. Let's try find the mayor. Maybe the biggest tent? Nope. Oh, but the biggest house, this definitely has to be it. Should I read the report before going in? To the mayor of Prifdinas, I am making progress and expect to be able to regrow Prifdinas soon. Without a clear understanding of the details of Lord Ironworth's plan, however, I cannot work as quickly as we would both like. In particular, if I knew the nature of the power source Lord Ironworth intends to use, I could save much time. Nevertheless, I will continue to work in the dark and trust in the dark? Oh yeah, well, yeah, he technically does work in the dark without knowledge. And trust that Lord Ironworth has good reasons for secrecy. Glory to Lord Ironworth. Yes, in Edern. Okay, let's deliver this. What? No ma Mayor of Privdinas, there you go. Good day, soldier. Have you got something for me? Whatever it is, it can't be more boring than this latest draft of Lord Ironworth's master plan. You should be grateful it's above your clearance level so you don't have to read it. God damn, the shade. Um, you've got Lord Ironworth's master plan? Oh yes, I know there's a rumor that his plan failed when the Temple of Light's defenses came back on, but it was only a minor setback. The details of this new plan are right here on my desk. Okay, thank you very much. I think I may spy on it real quick. I'm the only civilian who's allowed to read it. 
It's being kept strictly secret. If it were to fall into our enemy's hands, it could be disastrous. God damn, you are terrible. <laughs> um, I've got a report from Yestin. Another one. Let me guess, he's complaining about not being able to see the master plan. He shouldn't count himself lucky. Himself lucky. He doesn't have to read the Lord Iwer's tedious writing. Anyway, he's too much of a risk. These intellectuals are always putting their own crazy ideas over loyalty to the clan. If he saw the master plan, he might refuse to help. And then where would we be? This report should keep me uh, busy until my lunch arrives. I'm expecting a shipment of uh, gnomish foods from Arpo Sanja. First time I hear this word, I have no idea what this is. From Arpo Sanja. Maybe it's not a location, maybe it's a, um, it's a character. I simply can't subsist on the same muck the common people have to eat, you know? If you want to be useful, you could go and check up uh, on it for me. I don't want to have to go and check it myself. Okay. Given how clueless most NPCs seem to be here, um, I would like to attempt to take this master plan. An important looking letter sits on the desk. Well, <coughs> oops, I tripped. Naughty Death Guard, you know you're not allowed to touch that. Well, I guess I cannot snatch it. So let's go check on that food delivery thingy. Meanwhile, I've learned that uh, Arpo Sandra is actually a gnome city. So that's where the food comes from. Anyway, let's check on the uh, food situation. Keep back everyone, the mourner says. This food is for the mayor, not for general consumption. Give it to us, we are starving. Oh god, poor elves. Uh, the mayor wants you to distribute the, the food to the crowd. Really? <laughs> well, if you say so. I'll sleep easier tonight knowing these people got something to eat. I guess that's it. I was trying to piece things together on what exactly I've done, but this is gonna be a distraction for the mayor to rush out. And this is gonna be my opportunity to snatch the master plan. The master plan, rather. So let's say what we've done. I hope my gnomish food arrives soon. I don't want to have to go check it on, uh, check it out myself. Yeah, the guards are distributing it to the crowd. What? This is unacceptable. That food is mine. The common elves have no right to touch it. Yeah, I thought she was a pleasant character. Stay here and guard the master plan on my desk. I'm going to to go and deal with this outrage. Um. Yep. I'm really curious. Oh my god, we have to read this. We have to read this. The document is long and obscure. But you notice a prominent phase. Large-scale co conversion of quasi-elf resources into necromantic power. Whoa. Isn't this quest from like 2005 or something? No, no, no. Th this can't be. It's, it's probably more recent than that. Wait, let me quickly check and I swear I'll be quick 2014 so this quest is from 2014 but it mentioning necromantic power <laughs> in the lights of having necromancy released a few months ago is quite something well I guess I can't fully read this so maybe it's for the best Let's go report to Aaron Win. Actually, we will report back to Yestin, because uh, he's probably the most interested uh, one in the master plan. I wish I knew what Lord uh, the Lord's plan was. Yeah, well, it's right here. The Your Worth master plan. How did you convince the mayor to... No, don't answer that. Let me read it first. Let's see, large-scale conversion of quasi-elf resources into necromantic power. That means Lord Iorworth is planning to murder the whole population of West Arduni. He was right to keep it from me. If I'd known what he was planning, I wouldn't have helped. Humans are lesser creatures, but that doesn't mean they have no rights at all. How do you know he's gonna kill them? It's in the plan. Yeah, the, the necromantic thingy. Quasi-elf is our technical term for humans. Quasi-elf, interesting. They look mostly like elves, but they aren't. 
quasi-elf resources are the humans that the Death Guard are controlling in West Arduni, converting them into necromantic power that means killing them all in a magical ritual. How will that help Lord Ironworth? The Lord wants to summon the Dark Lord in order to use its power to regrow Prifdinas. I don't know what the Dark Lord is, but I gather it's associated with death and with the Temple of Light. Lord Ironworth's initial plan was to summon the Dark Lord using the uh, Temple of Light, but he had to abandon that plan when the Temple's defenses started working again. It looks like he's now abandoned the uh, Temple of Light plan and uh, is going to summon the Dark Lord using its association with death by killing a large number of humans. Um, how can we stop him? I don't know, I can stall him for a while, but sooner or later he, he will replace me with someone more compliant. I think I know what to do, Lord Fafi, it's time for you to go back to Arduni. The humans of West Arduni are oppressed, but they're not completely broken. With the right prompting, they could overthrow the Death Guard. Wait, who are you two? You're not Death Guards. Good point, why would you, why would you share that with us? If you knew we are Death Guards, whatever. I think we can trust you, Yestin. I'll explain everything once Lord Fafi is on his way. Lord Fafi, take the Ironworth Master Plan to Brevik in the Warder of West Arduni and Counselor Holgrave in East Arduni. Explain it to them like Yestin explained it to us. It is time to start a revolution. Okay. This sounds cool. Let's go to Arduino. Right, so the first guy we have to chat to is Councillor Hulgrave. He can be found right, well, right here in the middle of the city. I should, I should just show you the, the bridge. This is the castle. This is Councillor Hulgrave. Hello again, adventurer. What can I do for you today? I need to show you this document. This is amazing. I had no idea, he says. If anyone else showed me this, I'd dismiss it as a joke. But I know your reputation. When it comes to your adventures, nothing is too strange to be believable. If this is correct, King Lathas is in league with mourners. If I were to go to his people, at best I'd be stonewalled and at worst, I'd find myself in West Arduni being diagnosed with plague. I think I can get the army to support your revolution, but not until you're already in control of West Arduni. God damn, look at this guy, he's so buff. Look at him. God, those arms. Take this proclamation. It'll do no good against mourners, but when the king's army arrives, show it to them. Uh, you should free I, I, I was worried about that. I guess I can wear this and maybe we can also wield that. Uh, give me the uh, proclamation. Oh god, we have to... Uh, yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. This promises the support of Ardonis Council if the uh, situation in West Ardoni turns nasty. Okay. For Breivik, you'll have to go in the uh, western, uh, western part of uh, Ardoni, and he's gonna be found on the second floor of this building. Right here. Who? Oh yes, I remember you. You got me a hangover cure once. What can I do for you now? I need to show you this document. So that's what's going on, he says. Elves faking a plague to get human slaves. King Lathas is in league with them. And now they're going to round everyone up and murder them as soon as their magic crystal thing is ready. Gods. I suspected there was more to the plague than the official story, but this is worse than I could have imagined. You suspected? A plague with no symptoms, besides what you expect from people starving in a slum. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. What would you expect from people starving in a slum, he said. Doctors who never show their faces. People who vanish, and we only have the uh, doctor's ward that died of plague. I'm sure it all looks convincing from outside the wall, but in here, of course I'd suspected. If you'd suspected, why didn't you do anything? What could I do, he says. People who ask questions always seem to be next to die of plague. It's best not to even think about it. Once you've had a few drinks, you can believe that the plague is, a, uh, is real, and the moons are here to make us all better. Yeah, so we need to overthrow them. 
I'm not the person you need to help. I'm not the person you need to help you. If I had the strength of character to stand up to the mourners, then King Lathas wouldn't have let me stay in this position. Hmm, fair enough. Not to mention that people will probably see me as a collaborator. As far as the population is concerned, I might as well be wearing a plague mask. But let me give you a list of names. I'm not the sort to start a revolution, but if I were, these are the people I'd get on my side first. Okay, let's have a look. This is Bravex's list. So, oh, go, go chat with Elena Koftik. Ted and Martha are in some. I know the first, so I don't know Ted. Nor do I know Martha. Nurse Sarah. Jetic and Carla. I know the nurse, I know Jetic. Okay, uh, let's go have a chat with everyone. It doesn't really matter the order you will uh, approach them in. Right, so immediately west to the place you talk to Bravik is Carla, north of the grave. Let's have a chat. Wearing purple, cl purple clothing. Haven't you people done enough to my family, she says. Leave me to grieve over my son on my own. Sorry. <laughs> That's not gonna bring him back, is it? What? Wait a second. This was the start of no revolution. What went wrong? Oh my god, wow. So you have to remove your gas mask for this. I really don't have much space, so let's... No, what? Uh, let's eat some fish. So I can remove my gas mask. Now we have to talk to them. My son fell ill with a plague, she says. The Morans came and whisked him away. He didn't even seem ill, but the Morans said he was infected and had to be taken away. Two days later, the Morans returned and told me he had died. Join my revolution and avenge your son. I should wear a um, V4 Vendetta mask for this. So it's true, they killed him. You can count on me, she says. I'll meet you in the church. Wow. Okay. She is definitely angry. Sounds like great help. Let's go find Elena. Actually, no, closer. There's Jedek right here, which is much closer. He's actually in the square. Hello, we don't get many newcomers around here. Are you kidding me? You know me. We would if we torn down the city walls. Join my revolution. That's the first sensible thing anyone has said in a long time. I'll meet you in the church. Wow, he was easy to convince. Right. Let us now head west again and uh, find Koftik. Remember him, our guide in the underground pass? He's gotta be somewhere around here. There he is. What the heck are those? Hobgoblins. They look weird. So, Koftik. Hello, adventure. How's things? I want you to help overthrow the mourners. So your trip uh, through the underground pass has led you back to this? I knew the plague was a hoax, and a hoax like that I can't, uh, the, like that can't last forever. If there's going to be a revolution, I want to be on the right side of it. You can count me in. Good. So we also have Kaftik on board. Let us have a chat with Nurse Sarah next. She's in his, uh, she's in her house right here. Hello, my dear. How are you feeling? I'd feel better if you joined my revolution. So it's finally happening, she says. The mourners are the only disease in the city. It's time to eradicate them. Damn, she's radical. I'll meet you in the church. Alright. Um, we only have three names left. And two of them are grouped together. We are gonna go visit Ted and Martha Renison. Or rather, Renison. And they seem to be right behind this building. I think they're in... Oh, yeah, I remember them. I, I definitely do remember them. Hello again, Lord Fuffy. I need your help to overthrow the mourners. About time, they say. Martha, stay here and look after the children. You're not leaving me out of this. You can take care of your sister, can't you, Billy? Yes, ma'am. Let's go, then. Lord Fuffy, we'll see you in the church. Lovely. Only one name left. Elena. Let's go get her. I'm thinking it wasn't the brightest idea to, to carry everything 
at once in my inventory because it's definitely cluttered now what if elena is gonna give me something god knows so let's have a chat Hello, Lord Fafi. Have you discovered any more about what mourners are up to? Oh, yes. Yes, and it's time to stop them. It feels like years since you snuck into the uh, West Ardony to rescue me. Your quest has been larger than I could have imagined. This is interesting considering the uh, previous quest took, uh, was released in like 2005 and uh, the Prithina's quest was released in 2014, so it technically... Uh, there were years apart. There were definitely years involved in this uh, timeline. I'll sneak into West Ardony and meet you in the church. Find me there and we can finish what we started all those years ago. Well, technically for me it was like a few weeks ago, but sure. I can definitely understand where she comes from. Let's get in the church and see what's gonna happen next. Okay, and here we are. I believe this is the church. Yes, there's everyone. Let's commence. We are all here. Are you ready to tell us what's going on? Yes, I'll explain everything and then we'll strike. It's time you gave these people some answers, Lord Fafi. Um, first of all, the play is fake. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. The mourners are really elves. So that's why they never take off their masks. The plague is... F oh, 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 I already went over, <laughs> I already went over it. Uh, King Lathas is in league with the mourners. Yep. The mourners are planning to kill you all. And enough time, it's like, it's time to strike. Vengeance for the plague victims. Death to the dark elves. Come on, to the Mourner HQ. Oh my god, this is really happening. I've also freed up some slots in my inventory since uh, I've noticed <laughs> they're all lined there. I've noticed um, I'm gonna get some items. Oh, this is funny. Look at the option we have on the door. Not just open it, but kick it down. Okay, let's kill every single Mourner in here. And I think we will have to get to... Oh, wow, this is nice. I didn't know I could uh, hit across tables. We'll have to get to the uh, lead mourner as well. Which hides underground. I don't know, but for some reason this feels really... Um, exhilarating. Killing everyone here. The gnome is gone. Look at that. Maybe the gnome has actually been uh, released. That's some great news. Attack head mourner. That's the strongest of them. I thought I could have um, had a chat with him first. Maybe once I defeat him in battle, I'd be able to have a chat with him. I'd really love to tell him that I, it was me all along who infiltrated and everything. Please have mercy, he says. I have a wife and children back in Prifdinas. Um, I have some questions. I will tell you anything. What happened to the gnome prisoner? Great. Oh, a new mourner recruit convinced me to let him go. He was blindfolded coming in and out, so he can't lead anyone back here. I was the mourner. Wait, how did you know there was a gnome in here? Unless you were the new recruit. I thought I recognized your voice. See, I can be merciful. Please, show me the same mercy. How are you going to summon the Dark Lord? We were going to find the Temple of Light and corrupt it to summon the Dark Lord, but when the Temple's defenses came online, that became impossible. Lord Ironworth's new command was that we should prepare to kill the entire population of West Ardony in one event. He left its execution to my discretion. My plan was heard, no, was to herd everyone into a cavern and then collapse the roof. Oh, that's terrible. It would have been quick. What? No, it, no, no. So many things could have went wrong. It would have been an agony for them. Merciful, not at all. I was only following orders. Uh, sure, that's the uh, Nuremberg uh, uh, excuse, right? 
What happened to the gnome prisoner warrior? Who, who is the Dark Lord? I'm really curious. I don't know, I was just following orders. Only the most senior people knew. Lord Ironworth and maybe King Lathas. Well, enough questions. Please, have mercy. <sighs> I guess I'll show mercy. Go back to Prifdinas and tell Lord Ironworth I'm coming for, for, for him. This is strategically not smart, but... Let's go with it. Thank you, I promise you'll never see me again. I doubt. We did it! We're in control of the Mourner HQ. I made a flag, but I think you should be the one to hang it on the roof. Elena gives you a flag. Great. Well, let's go hang it, guys. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go hang it, I suppose. I guess we can take the stairs here. Oh, yeah, there's Carla. Okay, well. Replace standard. There you go. You hang the flag. What? Sir, you go. You up there. Oh, there's two of them. What do you want? You are illegally occupying the building, says Sir Edmund. King Lathas commands that you leave the building and submit to his authority. Leave peacefully now and you'll find us merciful. Remain inside and we will have no option but to slay you as enemies of Arduni. Oh, I'll enjoy destroying you. You show Councilor Holgrave's proclamation to the knights. Oh yeah, good point. Councilor Holgrave's seal. The thing I got earlier, the document. You up there, stay where you are and don't cause any more trouble. We must go back to the council and discuss how to deal with this situation. What are you talking about? Okay, guess they have a slight conflict between them now. The council has no right to countermand the king. This proclamation changes nothing. Arduni has a constitution. The king rules with the approval of the council. No, the king rules by divine right. I must go back to the castle to speak to the knights of the Arduni. We will not be commanded by a despot. You're going back to start a coup, you mean? The paladins will defend the king. Okay, well, at least he can help me out. At least I have a new ally, right? Or he's not fully convinced. They, it says the knights run back to Arduni Castle. Well, goodbye. See you later, I suppose. Oh god, thankfully. Uh, thankfully I don't have to wear the uh, stupid mourners. Uh, oh, no. Whoa. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm not gonna question that. Guess I haven't killed them all after all. Next, let's, uh, let's head inside the castle. I guess we are gonna finally confront the king. I see the knights of Arduni not caring at all, so that's great news. Nor does nor do the paladins care. So far so good, so king must be well conveniently in his room. Oh my bad, I've missed a step, I've completely missed Sir Edmund. I I should talk to him first. Adventurer, Councillor Horgrieve told us what King Lathas and the elves are uh, really doing in West Ardony. Now we're fighting for control of the castle. Well, this sounds fun. The Knights of Artuni and the Order of Heroes are loyal to Councillor Halgrive, but the Paladins and Warrior Woman are fighting for King Lathas. No worries, I will slay anyone that touches me. I think King Lathas knows he's going to lose the battle and he's going to try to escape. If you want him to face justice, we'll need to get to, to, to his throne room now. Are you ready? Yes, uh, yeah, I am, I am, I am. I just got a feeling that... Um... Okay, so they're fighting, cool. I just got a feeling that uh, that's not quite the throw room, that's his bedroom. Unless there's a throne in there, which I highly doubt. No, this is his bedroom, he doesn't even have a throne room. Wait, so now can I... Sir Hugo, protect me! Oh no, we have to face this guy. King Lathas told me what you uh, what you did to his brother, prepare to die. This poor guy is so uninformed. King Lathas rules by divine right. A common adventurer like you has no business questioning him. Sir Adamin will guide my hands as I separate your head from your body. That is so rude. Please don't die. I, I I'm talking to my to my character. Please win this fight.
Yeah, those rock tails would have uh, come in handy. Oh well, where's the king? What the heck? Oh. <laughs> Roy, I, I thought he ran away. Traitor, I trusted you. I won't debase myself by begging for mercy. Do what you will. Well, I'm gonna interrogate you. Answer my questions first. Great. Ask your questions. Why were you helping Lord Ironworth? He was a simple alliance of monarch, he says. I would help Lord Ironworth defeat the other elven clans by summoning the Dark Lord and he would help me get rid of Tyrus and conquer Camelot. My father, King Olfas, got go away. Ruled all of Kandarin, including Camelot and both halves of the city of Arduni. I am his eldest son. All of Kandarin should have been my bright right. My birthright. Bright right? What? Birthright, right. Then another so called king, Arthur, arrived out of nowhere with his knights and their round table. He claimed to be from another world, but I don't believe that. My father kicked the uh, Sinclairs, good, loyal subjects, out of their castle and gave it to this uh, new king. This is all new to me, interesting. Not only that, he then declared that the king kingdom should be split between me and my idiot younger brother Tyrus. I could not stand by and let the kingdom be fragmented. When I ascend to my half throne, when I ascended to my half throne, I made it my mission to unify my father's kingdom under my rule. Lord Ironworth promised to help me with that. Did you know the Morns were going to kill everyone in West Ardony? They were going to kill everyone? Oh no, I had no idea. Please spare my life. Oh. <laughs> You're lying. Alright, I did know. It was a blessing. The end of tedious plague hoax. The tedious plague hoax. And a way to get rid of some useless excess population. I was going to remake the West Ardony as a grand formal garden for the use uh, of myself and my court. Much better than the eyesore it is now. Enough questions. No, I, I would have wanted to ask... Uh, whatever. So I'm at your mercy now, traitor. What is it to be my fate? Your crown sits very weirdly on your head, your majesty. Go into exile and you can live. Very well, since you are magnanimous in victory, I will be gracious in defeat. You will never see me again. I doubt, yet again. You let him go after what he was doing in West Arduni. I don't know if I should have done that. Or if you should have done that. But I don't think I'd have the I I'd have had the guts to kill a king either. I'll take things from here. I'll make sure we clear the mourners out of West Arduni. The next in line to the throne is Lathas's cousin, Thoros. So I'll make sure he's installed. You should return to your elf to your elf friends wherever you last saw them. Okay, so to Letia probably. I am not 100% uh, percent sure what the uh, best way of reaching. What the heck was this? Green wall. Yeah, so I was gonna say I'm not 100% sure what the uh, best way of reaching. Um, well, Arenwin is. So I'm going to the underground pass. Uh, wait, it's, it's called Arandar Pass. There you go. And reach this area, because it's marked on my map, so it's probably the place I have to go to. Oh, okay, so this is the place I was mentioning. There's another entrance to the elf city. There you go, finally. This is what I... What? Oh, frick. I know why this happened, and that is because I wasn't wearing the uh, mourner outfit properly. Like such. Thank you, Arenwin. Good point. Now we have to go. Okay, and they should be right there. Good. You did it, Lord Fafi. The mourners are in full-scale full retreat from West Arduni. Yes, you've stopped Lord Ironworth for now, but sooner or later he'll find another way to call on the Dark Lord's power. There's only one way to stop him, and that's to regrow the city before he does. How will regrowing the city defeat the Dark Lord? Whoever regrows the city controls the city, he says. 
Lord Iroworth's brief dynasty would be uh, dominated by the Iroworth clan. Elves of the other clans would be second class citizens at best, and he could use the city as a base form which to conquer the uh, human lands. Okay, I was trying to figure out. Anyway, if we were to regrow the city first, using the power of the eight clans rather than the power of the Dark Lord, the city would be under our control. We would make it into its old self, a city shared between the eight clans. Who is the Dark Lord? <laughs> yeah, okay, magical power. Boogeyman. Is this new dialogue? I thought it was uh, recycled, but no. When humans first heard about the Dark Lord, they assumed it was an elven way of talking about Zamorak, the ultimate evil of their mythology. But there's no evidence that there's uh, the, the same being. Yeah, we are indeed wasting time. Let's focus uh, on what to do next. We need you to find the leaders of the eight elven clans. Eight? Damn. Obviously, we can't expect Lord Iroth to help with us, but I know enough about the magic required to take his uh, place. We also already have Lord Cadern. That leaves six to find. Okay, good, six. Oh. Erwin is Lord Cadern. I am. Wow, okay, hi. <laughs> um, I vowed not to use my title until I had led my clan out of exile and back into Prifdinas. With your help, that day is close at hand. You should go back to Letia. Gwyr, the scribe, will be able to help you find the six remaining elders. You should speak to her next. I can teleport you between here and Letia. Are you ready to go now? Yes! Thank god, I don't, ha I don't have to use my crystal then. Save the uh, teleport charge. Okay, there's Gwyr, right here. Lord Fafi, great to see you. I need to find the elders of Prifdinas. You're going to find the lost elders? If you are anyone else, I'd say it was impossible. But you might have a chance. There's a book on the bookcase here which, uh, with clues to where they went. Once you've read the book, you should talk to me again so I can explain uh, the riddle to you. I have some items I think you'll need. Okay, search bookcase, maybe... The lost elders, there you go. Lady Triary, oh, Triarin journeyed south from the well. Lord Cruz's brothers call to him when they are wounded. Lady Ethel put her soul into her greatest work. Lord Amlod sleeps the sleep of the uncalled. Oh, this is a poem. Lady Hafin walked westward on the water. Lady Mill breathed a map in the dungeon of the kin. Never mind, only two words rhymed. Okay. Well, I uh, read it. I see you've got the book, she says. I don't know. Uh, I don't know exactly where the elders are, but I can help you interpret interpret the riddle. Which part would you like me to explain? Uh, let's go with the f first one. The Trahirn clan are masters of mining and smithing. You'll likely need to use one of those skills in order to follow Lady Trahirn's footsteps. Also, I don't expect that well is an ordinary well. Is there an important well you've encounter encountered on your uh, journey to these lands? Yes, the underground one. Okay, let's actually do this in order based on the uh, quest guide. And the quest guide says we should check Lady Ethel. Lady Ethel put her soul into the uh, into her greatest work. Lady Ethel was the architect of Letia. Would you look at this? Would you look at that? She considered it her greatest work as it captured some of the beauty of uh, Prifdinas without using any of Serene's crystals. Okay. Sadly, I don't think you'll find Lady Ethel. She passed away shortly after finishing work on Letia. Oh. Well, the quest guide says there's like five symbols I can inspect. Oh, look, 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 look. Here's the first one, right in the bank. Symbols found 105. Okay, let's find them all. Oh, here's another symbol right here. This is where I was earlier, and this is the symbol here. Let's inspect it. 205. Next symbol is in the archery shop. 
and this is here in relation to the center of the uh, village. 305. Fourth symbol can be found uh, if you take the stairs. And that's right here. What is going on? Oh, you've already found it, never mind. So we're already on 405, let's find one more. Right, there you go, final symbol can be found in this house upstairs. When put together, the five carvings you found contained detailed plans for a statue to be built in the middle of Letia. Ooh, look at it. Building it would require 10 magic logs perfectly. Finally, I have some use for my magic logs. They have been saving in my inventory for all this time. Well, let's build then. Wow, that, that was quick. That's... that's... I've never seen her before, but I recognize her, Kellen says. Human, I'm up on the balcony. Come and... come and talk to me. Um... Here? Where the heck is she? Oh, she was actually upstairs. I somehow missed her. She's got a pink hair. Well, let's see what she has to say. That statue, looking at it, I feel something. Like new memories are entering my mind. The crystal spires, the delicate harmonies, or rather harmonies, the recreation of those harmonies in wood. I see how she did it now. I have her knowledge. I am Lady Ethel. Okay. There's so many clan leaders, I don't think I'm gonna chat with all those. I mean, we can chat later once we all meet in the uh, Elven City, so... It's time. I'm gathering the clan reader leaders. I may or not be a little intoxicated. Um, time to rebuild the Prif Prifdinas. To sing the Crystal City into its proper beautiful form. I'll make my way to the Prifdinas Undercity and meet you there. Oh god. Off she is. This is actually great, I finally have some more inventory space. About time. Let's go check Lord Amlod. But first we will have to uh, talk to Gwyr about him. So, Lord Amlod. He sleeps the sleep of the uncalled. I have something on of Lord Amlod's. A summoning charm. I don't know what he meant it to be used for, but you might be able to use it. Right, so this is probably the summoning guy. He's gonna need summoning supplies, right? Okay, interesting. So I'm next to a summoning pouch. I wasn't sure if this is gonna work, so I've used the Amlod charm on the uh, infused pouch obelisk. Well, on the obelisk. It says, using your knowledge of summoning, you can see how to create a pouch from the Amlod charm. You will need an empty pouch. 200 spirit shards, one gold charm, one green, one crimson, one blue. I have everything I believe. And there you go, I have the Amlod pouch. I'm gonna go back to Letia. And summon it there. Summon it somewhere here next to the uh, fountain. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm back? Um, wow, look at, look at this guy, looks... Looks interesting. Behold the great... Oops, I skipped it. Um, are you my summoned creature now? Can I command you? No. It's time. I'm gathering the clan leaders. At last, summon back so that I can summon my home. The mighty city of Prifdenas. More beautiful even than the spirit plane. I'll meet you in the Undercity. Okay. Lady Trahirn is next, and I, I believe I already chatted with the Gwyr about her. If I remember correctly, she pointed out I should use a uh, well-known well, right? So that's exactly, that is exactly what we're gonna do. Let me find the Well of Voyage. Oh my god, I didn't even know there's an obelisk in here. I wouldn't have traveled all the way to Taverly for this then. Right, so this is Lydia, and this is the cave you gotta go in. And this, of course, is the uh, Well of Voyage. Keep in mind, it seems like you'll get uh, attacked, so... Mine the cracked wall found over here. You clear the blocked tunnel, okay. Enter the tunnel. 
attack the uh, aggressors, I suppose. And then chat to Lady Trahirn. Well, we seem to be done. No drops. Let's see what she has to say. Lady Trahirn's rune and crystal exoskeleton appears to be keeping her alive. But the exoskeleton is damaged, preventing her from waking. You think you can see how to repair it, but you'll need a rune bar. Repair exoskeleton. There you go. That surely worked. Who disturbs my slumber? A human? No, 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 let me sleep. I must wait for an elf to tell me the Crystal City is reborn. It is time. Oh, times have changed indeed if a human is working with the elves. I have waited a long time to take my place in the Grand Library and regrow the city. Let's hope my machine has preserved my singing voice. I'll make my own to the uh, my own way to the uh, Prifdenas Undercity and meet you there. Great! Okay, let's go back to Letia and um, try find out find out where Lord Cruz is. I don't even know how to pronounce that. First of all, though, we will need some clues on Lord Cruz. Amazing. I need to find the elders. Lord Cruz. Okay, Lord Cruz's brothers call to him when they are wounded. The Cruz clan are experts in farming and woodcutting. Lord Cruz has a magical connection with trees. He would even say that trees were his brothers. Okay, so he's into trees. Oh, this is interesting. So apparently chopping down trees spawns a trail that leads towards his location. So I think this is the spot. I'm right next to the catapult thingy. And in here it says, let me just double check, just before passing through the last tree on the dense forest, chop the closest tree on the right. It would mean this one. Inspect tree. The tree is alive but diseased. A plant cure potion or the cure plant spell could restore it to full health. Well, we have a plant cure right here. You treat the tree with plant cure, and it is restored to health. And there you go, this is Lord Cruis. Hello. Ah, my sap runs faster. I am an elf again. Are you a servant of the other clans? Is it time to grow the crystal bows of Prifdenas again? Well, kind of. The forest of living crystal. How I have longed to see it stand once more beside the forest wood. I will uproot myself and meet you in the Privdenas Undercity. Great, so how many more? There's at least a few. Let's go back to Letia. As we are gonna be asking Gwyr about Natharinwin, we are gonna be gonna be asking Gwyr about Lady Heffin. Lady Heffin walked westward on the water. The Hefin are the most spiritual of the clans. There are some legends of holy people walking on water, but I don't know if Lady Hefin was quite that holy. It might not have been just any water, though. The water is an old name for the Marsh, to the southwest of Letia. From before it became known as the Poison Waste. Well, I guess that's where we have to head next. Where would this be on the map? Okay, so we're here. This is the Poison Waste. I... Prob where the heck would you start this? Oh, here, I believe. Somewhere here. Let's, let, let's get there. It appears to be that uh, the uh, most efficient way is to go out of Letia and not teleport to the Lowstone there. Not teleport to the uh, Tyrion 1 uh, Lowstone. Instead, just go south from here. Well, then, now we have to be jumping and getting on that side. What? I can't reach that? What do you mean? Oh, now I can. Oh, wow, I have to click each one manually. God damn. So, I'm, I am I think I'm gonna speed this up. Just so you see the, uh, the exact path.
Okay, and here we are on the other side, we have to talk to her, Elf Hermit. Your exploration has led you to a dead-end human. There is no one here but a simple hermit. Are you Lady Heffen? I am a lady of nothing but this hovel. I seek the wisdom of Serene. <laughs> Do you really? Are you prepared? I wonder... Oh, are you prepared, I wonder, to clear your mind preconceptions and to truly listen? Serene is present in every elven crystal. Its hardness represents her unswerving faithfulness to the elves. Its symmetry represents her harmonious nature. Its growth represents her nurturing of all things that grow. What does a crystal's hardness, hardness represent? Well, Serene's faithfulness to the elves. Correct. Now what represents Serene's harmonious nature? The symmetry of crystals. Correct. Finally, what represents Serene's humility? I don't know. Correct. Nothing I said mentioned Serene's humility, but you have displayed humility by admitting you do not know the answer. I believe I can trust you. A servant of Lord Ironworth would have not displayed such humility. As you no doubt suspect, I am Lady Heffin, whom you seek. It is time, Lady Heffin, I am gathering the clan leaders. Then it is time for my solitude to end. I will meet you in the Prifdenus Undercity. Well, I think there's only one more leader to get to. I think I'm gonna go teleport back to Letia. So, let's see what Gwir has to say about Lady Miller. Lady Miller brewed a map in the Dungeon of the Kin. I am not aware of Lady Miller ever making a map and I don't know where the Dungeon of the Kin might be. I don't think it's anything in Elvenlands, but it could be something you've heard of further away. I do have a potion recipe that Lady Miller left though. You might find it useful, even if it isn't a map. Okay, what is this? Potion recipe. Create a 3 dose potion of cadentine and white berries in a vial, then add it to its ground. What? Then add to it ground red and blue is after mushrooms. Okay, so the mushrooms are really accessible. Just teleport to the uh, Tyranwind lodestone. I'm gonna pick up some. Uh, not even sure how many. Let me pick up one blue mushroom. You can't reach that. What do you mean you can't reach that? You pick a blue mushroom. There you go. Grind. Let's also pick some red ones from the other side of the uh, dense forest. And that's gonna be right here. Right, so let's pick the mushrooms up. Or the mushroom. Okay, this is done. Let's add these. The uh, ground blue is after and the ground red is after to the... Super Defense 3 Potion, making a Miller Potion 3. Great. Now we have to go to Demonheim. In here we'll have to sit in the main hall and drink the potion. It says you fill the potion subtly, altering your uh, perceptions. And they... Wait. Is that a portal that just opened? I guess so. It was covered by the chat, so I couldn't have seen it spawn. Oh yeah, there she is. There she is right there. Wow, what a beautiful rose that is. Hello. Hmm, has hallucinating people again should use less void dust in the next potion. Wait, you're not a hallucination, are you? You're really here? Is it time? Is it time to regrow Prifdenas? Yes, it is. Let's all gather. It'll be a good... No, it'll be good to get out of this dank little dungeon and back to the elven lands. I'll meet you in the Prifdenas Undercity. So, this concludes all the um, leaders, I believe. They are, all, they are all gathered. Waiting for me. Next, let's go to Letia, let's report to Aranwyn and uh, let us go back to the, or rather, let us go to the Undercity, where everyone awaits us. Let's give him the news. I can teleport us back to the Undercity as soon as you're ready. Well, I guess I'm ready. 
haven't equipped my mourner thingy, but I don't think it matters at this point. Anyway, what next? You did it, Lord Fafi! I never thought I'd see all the elders together again. Lovely. It's a historic occasion, but let's not celebrate yet. There's another thing you'll need to do before we regrow the city. For now, my magic is able to keep us hidden from the uh, Death Guard. Anyone who looks into this room will just see me at my desk. Oh, that's interesting. I was about to ask, given there's like Death Guards there. Once we start to regrow the city though, I won't be able to hide us anymore. Lord Irward's army will rush in and overwhelm us. Unless... Unless they're already occupied, says Arenwin. The remnant of King Tyrus' army is still facing off against Lord Irward's war camp. The two forces are too evenly matched for either one to risk an attack. If you were to convince General Hining in the Tyrus camp to attack now, it would keep Lord Irworth and his forces occupied, while we regrow the city and defeat Lord Irworth for good. Okay, so I guess we have to convince that general to attack. No, I don't need to be teleported, I'm gonna go with a charter ship. Hello general, long time no see. This is not a good place to be, King Tyrus is dead. There is no hero to fight back the forces that face us now. Go, prepare for the coming darkness while you still have time. Um, I guess the time has come to face the darkness. So you, uh, you explain the whole plan, right? And then, and then will it be all over? The dark elves defeated, the elf city regrown and King Lathas in his exile. Or rather, is in exile. We could all go home. I'll help you, adventurer. Go back and tell your elf friends that they can count on our support. Okay, get back to that place. Ah, uh, the, the traveling in this quest is a little... You know what? It's, it's okay. It's okay. Oh wow, luckily Erenwin is right here. I thought I would have had to go myself in there. I can teleport us back. Yes, please. Never mind. I totally take back the thing I was uh, starting about uh, traveling. I guess I'm ready. Is there a bank here? Yes, I am gonna bring some food just in well, case. Well, <laughs> I think I have enough food now. Yes, teleport us back. Right, Erenwin, what's next? It is time, he says. Lord Ayrworth has called the Death Guard away to fight General Hining. Oh yeah, true, they're no longer there. We should be able to regrow the city undisturbed. And then Lord Ayrworth will return to find a city that we control. Come on, Lord Fafi, enter the Grand Library and let's finish this. Yes, let's enter. Let's enter. We're not yet ready, okay? Aaron Wynn will let you know what to do now. What? I thought he told me to enter, I mean... What? I'm a little bit confused. Um, okay, sure. Wow, look at this place. What the heck is this? Looks like a necromancy ritual site. This is it, the Grand Library. Okay, what do I know, what do I do now? All you need to do now is to direct the light from each clan seal into the seal of Serene. Perfect, p -p perfect. I mean, I've done so many light puzzles lately. This should be a breeze, right? <laughs> Start with the Cadern seal. You should interact with the plants in order to create mirrors on them to redirect the beam. When you're ready, activate the cadern, cadern seal and I will sing into it to create the beam. Stage 108, direct the cadern beam to the seal of Serene. So this is seal of cadern. Got it. And well, where's the seal of Serene? Oh, right in the middle. Um, activate. Maybe I should read about the puzzle, the light beam, but I feel confident, so... Oh, the light beam is blocked by a pillar, so what do I do in that scenario? 
Oh, I have to put mirrors, right, so put a mirror here. And I'm already looking at the solution, honestly. I could have done it myself, but at this point... Okay, so this the light beam has... Oh, right, so we, we should also face the mirrors. We should angle them correctly, I mean. I think this is it. Yep, so far so good. What's happening? What are those creatures? God damn, do I have to fight them? They're shadow creatures. Like the ones in the Temple of Light, right? But these ones aren't bothering to hide flat on the ground. It looks like some force is opposing us. Probably the Dark Lord, yeah. What do I do now? I'm gonna attack them. This doesn't change what you have to do, Lord Fafi. Direct the beam from the Etruhiran seal into the seal of Serene. What's the Etruhiran? This one, okay. Let's go... No, let's kill the shadows first. Oh god, they seem tough. No, ne never mind, I take that back. Luckily, not the case. They were weak. Um, let me let me focus on this one next. Uh, apparently, this one requires a mirror here. Mirror here. Where else? Here, I believe. Facing this, and finally here. That should do it. Perfect. Let's activate the light beam and see it work. Wait, is it right? Yeah, it is. Great. Okay, more shadows. Oh god, an even bigger shadow. God damn, greater shadow. My guess is that the shadows infesting the Temple of Light were the least powerful of the Dark Lord's minions. And that's one of the most powerful ones. It looks like you'll need to defeat a greater shadow before you can direct the light beam from the Ironworth seal to the seal of Serene. Sure. Let's fight the freaking greater shadow. What's he dealing? Damage. Uh, may as well pray damage. Uh, pray, uh, pray, pray mage, I mean. <laughs> What's he dealing? Damage, obviously. Very well, so all mirrors have been set in place. And there you go, stage 3 out of 8, complete. Great mother, oh my god, what the... Oh my god, Dark Lord! Already, Dark Lord, okay, Great Mother Serene, what is that? Death, I bring you death. You are alive now, but soon you will not be alive. Okay, who are you? I mean, sure, I am the Dark Lord. Does that name not tell you all you need to know? I mean, it kind of does. You wish to build, to create life, to continue existing. I am that which opposes you. I am the voice in your head as you explore the darkest caves, whispering that you should stay, embrace death, destroy rather than create. Okay, you're a weirdo. Uh, oh god, already? What do you deal? Probably magic, right? I don't have soul split, I don't have stuff like that. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea, though. Okay, so I killed the Dark Lord, but this is bad. I don't have a proper setup for this. I mean, I had to use most of my food. I may have to return with better gear. Yeah, so I'm a little bit better, better equipped right now. Got some armor, got some, uh, got some gear on me. I can fight these. Apparently, you can fight. You have to fight these uh, a lot. Yeah, so basically what's there to do is to keep triggering those... God damn, he hits hard. Keep triggering those light beams. Make sure you don't stand in the purple areas. And, um... Yeah, do this until it's over. Oh boy, look who showed up. Lord Ironworth. Great Dark Lord, you are here. What do you want of me? I want the power of your death. Oh wow, predictable. Rip. Yes, the death of an elf clan leader is powerful. That's... That sounded silly. And very simple. Anyway, let me kill this guy again. Oh, what? He says I'm the creator of the elves. Is that a bluff? Or did he really create the elves? I taught you magic and brought you to this world. You cannot destroy me. 
You lie. It was Sirin who brought us to... Okay, so he was bluffing. Yeah, screw you, Dark Lord. Gonna destroy you. <laughs> Rip, no, I cannot die. And he exploded. You did it, Lord Fuffy. The Dark Lord is dead. Damn, I really feel like I did something. You've empowered the seal of Serene. The clan leaders can sing the city into shape as it grows. This room will be the foundation of a new Prefidinus, but this time you'll be different. For all of its history, Prefidinus has been closed, has been closed to outsiders. Elves regarded other races as inferior barbarians. Even when we were exiled from the city, the rebel elves didn't think about the humans beyond the mountains. We heard what the Death Guard was doing in West Arduni, but we only cared about our own city. But when you emerged from the underground pass, we saw that a human adventure could be more resourceful than the greatest of elves. If you hadn't helped us, the Dark Lord would have created an evil Prefidinus and doomed the elves to live under Lord Arwers rule. I've talked to the other clan leaders and uh, we are anonymous. Prefidinus will no longer be a city only for elves. Once it's regrown, we'll throw the doors open to other races. This is the end of an epic adventure for you and the start of a new age for both elves and humans. I'll see you in Prefidinus soon, Lord Fuffy. Oh my, oh my god, wow, I didn't expect it to end it so abruptly. God, wow, we have... We have finished, finally finished, Plague's End. It's so late at night here, but I really got a true sense of accomplishment from doing this. Granted, it was with a quest guide, but still, this was lovely. Two quest points, 50,000 50, experience in agility, crafting, construction, engineering, herb, mining, prayer, range, summoning, and woodcutting. God damn, that's a lot of experience. Um... Of the Elves title, Truhirn Exoskeleton, what the heck is that? Access to, oh my god, access to the city finally and to Treasure Hunter Keys. Guys, we are done for today. Thanks for watching.